Shalom, shalom, on your show. Welcome again to the rock. You better know somebody. Uh, for the, any people who have been on this channel for any amount of time, you know I am not a big fan of you know the the, the, the bug out ideology. Um, I do know that there is a place for it. I do know that there can be times. Uh, that it is needed, but I am not a big fan of the bug out ideology because unless you have a place to go, the means to get there, and you are able to foresee the problem and get out of whatever major city you're in before, uh, you know, the, the situation gets worse, all you're going to do is be caught away from home, likely on some freeway somewhere, without uh, your your you know your means of protection in a foreign area yada 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 around strangers yada 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 so i am not a big fan of the bug out plan uh the, the bug out but i do know what's needed i do know it has a place uh, and and there may be instances in which you have to bug out so i get that but the name of this video is you better know somebody for a reason because you better know somebody and the times that we're in, and, and let me preface this with, this video is majoritively for men. Because I know that uh, for females, for women, usually um, they're going to wait until it's too late. Um, I also know it can be sometimes very uh, nerve-wracking trying to get to know people as a female in the times that we're in. You know, there's a lot of sick people out there. So, yes, you do have to be very careful. But I know also that a lot of, of women, sisters, I'm talking about the faith, you know, for the most part. A lot of women are just not going to move. A lot of sisters are not going to, just going to move until the last minute. But for brothers, after you sisters are going to move, you better know somebody. You know, this is not a video about, you know, the gas problem that we got. You know, I've seen some incredible videos and pictures of people filling up. 55 gallon black trash bags with gasoline and putting it in the trunk of their car and people you know filling up you know uh uh those plastic rubber made totes with gasoline you know I, it's amazing you know but that's part of you know the the society we live in today everybody wants to wait till the last minute you don't want to be that person you want to know somebody right now where if you are in a city uh, any area where you're in areas of population, you want to know somebody where you could leave where you are and go to where they are. Preferably sooner than later. And even if you can't leave, you want to know somebody where you are. So if you're in Dallas, you want to know somebody that's in your general area where the two of you could come together, especially as times get worse. Man, I got bit by a mosquito on my head. Especially as these times get worse, you're going to want to know somebody. You're going to want to know somebody, and, and let, me, let me say this, you want them to have, at, at, you want them to think like you do, you want them to believe like you do, nothing worth, you know, as a person who keeps the law uh, of y'all as a believer, it, it, nothing's worse than the idea that you might be with somebody who has a stockpile of, of pork and beans and pigs, and that's what they plan on surviving on, and you go there and they have pork and beans and pig, and you're you know, of the faith you eat clean, you eat from the dietary law that y'all gives you. Or let's say they want things done on the Shabbat and you're like, well, I don't keep, uh, I keep the Shabbat. Well, now you have an, another dilemma because you're on their property. You're at their behest. But you want to know somebody. You want to know somebody that you can go through these situations with. You want to know somebody that believes like you. You want to know somebody who has something vested into the situation like you do. You want to know somebody that truly actually cares about you and you about them. Because as these times erode and as we see the erosion of a society, the erosion of a monetary policy, the erosion of morals, the, mor uh, the erosion of ethics, the erosion of food supplies, the erosion of just regular supplies. As you see these erosions, people become more and more desperate and they get more and more sick. And they're willing to do whatever it takes to feed them and their families. And if that means victimize you, then so be it.
so be it. So do you know somebody? Do you know somebody where if, if times get bad, you can go there? Or do you know somebody that is in your general area? Because you, you're going to have to reach out. You know, I know this. We would rather sit in our nice little comfort zone and believe that just us, ourselves, and us, and our family, we're going to be okay. And yes, some people may actually make it through with that sort of lifestyle, with that, sort of, that, that way of thinking. But it's not going to work for everybody. It's not going to work for everybody. And you're not, you know, there's always a, you're not going to build a pool security all day, every day by yourself. Not just that. But you're just going to simply be exhausted doing your normal daily stuff. You're going to want to know somebody. You're going to want to know somebody that you can go through these times with. That believes like you, that you can pray with. That you can have a study with. You're not going to want to try to endure these times alone. The Bible says two is greater, than, uh, two is better than one because there's a great reward for their labor. If one falls down, the other one is there to pick them up. If one is knocked down, the, the, if one is, is attacked, there's another person there that's got your back. Then it ends in, in Ecclesiastes, it ends that section and says, and a threefold cord is not easily broken. We're really going to have to get out of our comfort zones and we're going to have to reach out to people. And I know you want to be careful how you do that. You want to be extremely careful with how you reach out to people. But you're, you, you have to get out of this mindset that you can just sit where you are and things are going to be okay by yourself. I'm not talking about join, you know, some major group. You know, I'm not talking about that because you're likely in many of those situations, you'll likely be a servant, which for some of you, hey, that may work. But do you know somebody? And have you talked with them? If it's, you know, hey, I know a brother and I'm just going to, you know, I'm going to go to his land. Have y'all talked about that? Have you put in work for the infrastructure on his property? Have you put in work or do you plan on just showing up and eating from his gardens and eating his food stores? Do you have a place actually put up on his property where you have food and provisions already stored there? I mean, you can build an eight by eight, you know, uh, eight by 12 little cabin and put food uh, provisions in there, put protection, put uh, uh Put up water catchment. Put some tools in there. You know, you could have a, a, a wood stove in there. You could have a stack of wood already cut up next to your place. You can have an infrastructure, an outdoor shower. You can have an infrastructure set up. One of the biggest problems today is that people don't know nobody. They don't want to know nobody. And we're all going to be Chuck Norris and John Rambo and make it through these situations by ourselves. Better know somebody. Because trying to get to know somebody when these situations hit, it's too late. It's too late. You're likely to be taken advantage of. And if you're a, a sister, you know, uh, the, the reality of it is, is that when it comes to bad times, people are going to look for the easiest victims. And even if you are proficient and you believe you are well-trained, if you're a single sister out there, you're still going to, people are still going to have the perception that you're the weak one. So even if you're well-trained and you're able to fend off one attacker one day and another attacker the next day and another attacker the next day and another attacker the next day, eventually you're going to get, you're, you're going to get got. Eventually. You're going to get got. Because people are going to have that perception that's the single one. She's the one who's single. She's easy pickings, even if you're not. That'll be inside their head. That'll be the perception that they have. So when I say this, you better know somebody. I'm just really saying, know somebody. Because if you don't, you're liable to go through this thing alone. And we can say, nothing's going to happen. But things are happening. Even if you close your eyes and pretend like it doesn't, things are happening. They're happening in this country. They're happening around the world. People are fed up. People are fed up. There's injustices happening left and right. 
we're headed to a, you know, that snowball, like I said, in many videos over the past couple of years has gotten too big. You can't stop it. You can only get out of its way. So don't be afraid, especially, well, be cautious, be wise. But you're going to have to understand you're not going to be able to, to handle things the way you've always handled them. You're going to need people. Even if it's one or two brethren that you know their families and y'all have a plan. You better know somebody. Bless y'all. Shalom.